Hello and thanks for watching our demonstration of Easy Home Inspection software. In this video we'll show you how this easy to use and powerful program can help you create professional inspection reports. Let's open the program to get started. The software comes with a default report that contains items you'd find in a typical home inspection. You can start creating reports right away by simply filling in the information. Easy Home Inspection software is also completely customizable, so you can create reports exactly the way you want them. With the click of a button, you can rearrange, delete, and add report sections. For example, we'll move the basement section down by using the move arrows. We can also delete the section by clicking on the X icon to the right of the section header. The basement section is now completely removed. To add a new section, simply click on the Add Section button. We'll add a section for inspecting a swimming pool. And create a subsection called Pool Safety Fence. Now we'll add a description item to describe the fence material. Then add a condition item to note the fence condition. Notice that the condition item has an area for comments, a drop-down box to select the condition, and some icons for adding pictures. This example shows how the page would look after it's filled out and printed. If you'd like to create narrative-style reports, you can use narrative items instead of condition items. This description of a water heater is an example of how you can create narrative-style reports. By adding description and condition items, you can create entire report sections in literally a matter of minutes. You can also add text to any part of the report by using the text item. This makes it very easy to add disclaimers and notes to the report pages. To demonstrate this, I've added a disclaimer section and a text item. I have some text in a Word file, so we'll copy and paste it into the text box now. The new disclaimer text we just added now appears at the beginning of the report. Once you have the report set up the way you want it, the Save Template feature will allow you to save templates to use later. Since we've added a pool section, we'll name this template Residential with Pool. This feature makes it very convenient to customize multiple templates for different types of inspections. You can also set any template as the default, so each time you start the program, the template will open ready to be filled out. To use a different template, you can click New and open any template you previously created. Under Settings, you can set up your company information, change the condition drop-down options, and set up your report layout. Let's assume we've completed an inspection and we're ready to fill out the report. There was a charred wire in the electrical panel, which is a safety issue. First, we'll click on the electrical section and then scroll down to the main panel condition. To enter a comment, we have two options. We can type it manually, or click comment to open the comment library feature. The comment library is a powerful feature that allows you to add and save your own comments or choose from a master library of over 2,000 pre-typed comments to use. For this example, we'll add our own comment. And name it Charred Wire. Naming comments allows you to quickly find the one you're looking for without having to read through entire paragraphs of text. Adding the comment to the current library will only add it to the item you're working on, in this case the main electrical panel. You can also add comments to the common library so they'll appear in all comment libraries in all sections. This is good for comments you'll use often, such as contact a general contractor for repair. The add and insert button will add the comment to the current library and insert it into the report at the same time. If you'd like to format your text, such as make it bold, change the size, or change the color, there are several formatting buttons at the top of the screen. 
Now that we've added a comment, we'll select SA for safety. And then add a picture of the charred wire. You can add pictures from your computer or a digital camera. To point out a specific area, there are several options. The line feature is perfect for outlining areas such as walls with mold damage. There is also a rectangle tool, a circle tool, and arrow tool. For this example, we'll use the arrow tool. To add an arrow, we'll put the cursor where we want the point to be and hold down the mouse button. Then drag, rotate, and release it when it's positioned correctly. Now that we're done editing, we'll add the photo to the report by clicking Insert This Picture. We can automatically add this item to the summary page by checking the box next to it. Once you're finished filling out the report, you can print, export to Microsoft Word, or export to a PDF file to email to clients. We'll fill out one more item to show you how quickly it can be done. Suppose we have a broken window on the west side of the home. We'll go to the exterior section to make a note of the condition. First, we'll add a comment, then select NR for needs repair, and check the checkbox to include it in our summary page. Now we'll add a photo and circle the broken area. And that's it. We've completed this item in about 15 seconds. By building your comment library and using this method, you can fill out entire sections in just a few minutes. Easy Home Inspection software is easy to use, fully customizable, and packed with powerful features. It also comes with a short training video so you can start creating reports quickly. Whether you're a new inspector or a seasoned veteran, Easy Home Inspection software has everything you need to create great looking reports. Click Order Now to get started creating your own reports today. Thanks for watching, and we wish you great success in your inspection business.